The event which took place in Venduk on Friday was aimed at renewing the designation agreements with designated fishing companies as well as assess the performance of companies in order to determine whether there is full compliance. Klazen said the designation agreements do not afford fishermen the right to choose where to be placed as the agreements only require the placement of fishermen wherever an opportunity for placement arises. The minister further noted that, in this instance, companies have been found to be fully compliant, with a few exceptions of challenges picked up along the way, which he said are receiving attention. Some of those challenges being experienced, according to Klazen, are limited employment opportunities within the fishing industry, resulting in non-gainful employment of the fishermen. Seven fishing companies in Wolfish Bay in 2023 signed agreements to re-employ about 1,000 fishermen who lost their jobs in 2015 aboard numerous fishing vessels following their participation in an illegal industrial strike now referred to as the Okapale fishermen. The group also includes fishermen who were laid off from Namsov owing to a 48% cut of its horse mackerel quota in 2015, and those who lost their employment after being abandoned by two fishing vessels operating under the Icelandic company Samergy, namely Saga and Giza, in 2020.